Hi, in this video, we will be talking about nature of roots of quadratic equations as well as the quadratic inequalities. The question goes, find the sets of values of the constant k for which the curve of y equals to negative x squared plus 1 minus k times x minus 2 lies entirely below the line of x plus y equals to 0. And that's a 4 marks question. Now, you might want to pause this video to give this question a try, and when you're ready, keep watching. Now, we have the curve equation to be y equals negative x squared plus 1 minus k times x minus 2. Now, let's note it down. So, y equals to negative x squared plus bracket 1 minus k close bracket x minus 2. Now, notice that this curve is a negative x squared curve. This implies that this will be a set phase curve and by set phase i'm referring to a maximum curve like this this is a set phase curve now what we're going to do is in order to have a better understanding of this question we're going to sketch this simple diagram out on the right hand side of this video so we want to refer to this part of it so this is therefore my so-called curve and for this curve we will therefore have this equations right here Okay, so negative x square curve will therefore give us a maximum curve or a set phase curve like this. Let's continue with the question. Now, we also have another, another straight line known as x plus y equals to 0. So once again, let's note it down. So x plus y equals to 0. Now making y the subject of the equation will therefore give us y equals to negative x. Now, once again, let's draw this line of y equals to negative x. y equals negative x is a downward sloping straight line curve. So this is a downward sloping straight line curve like this. All right. So let's make it uh, the same color like this. So therefore, it's a downward sloping. And this curve, this straight line is therefore a y equals to negative x. Let's do up this labeling here. Now, you are told that this thing, the curve, lies entirely below the line of this straight line equation so the curve which is in purple lies entirely does not intersect it lies entirely below the straight line equation of y equals minus x so graphically it should look something like this and in the mathematical statements we should be writing this part here negative x squared plus 1 minus k times x minus 2 to be entirely below the straight line would therefore be less than the straight line equation of negative x like this so let me just copy this part out negative x now we can therefore do up some simple basic manipulation so let's put all the algebras every single term on one side of the inequality like this so giving us a x square plus a k minus 1 times x minus x plus 2 to be more than 0. So please do not forget to flip the sign if you multiply by a negative 1 throughout. So therefore, if you want to combine them and express it nicely, it will therefore give us x squared plus k, k minus 1 times x minus x will therefore give us a k minus 2 bracket, k minus 2 bracket, x plus 2 to be more than zero. So therefore we have this part of uh, uh, of the inequality here nicely done out. So as we can see here, it says lies entirely below. Now this lies entirely below is a very critical thing. This implies that the line, the line here 
does not intersect the curve. When the line does not intersect the curve, there is no solution. And by no solution, we can therefore imply that there will be no real roots. So consider the general quadratic equation of y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. If there is no real roots, this implies that the discriminant, in this case, the discriminant, so let me write it down here, discriminant, will therefore be less than zero. So by discriminants, we are talking about it as a b square. So discriminants will be b square. b square minus 4ac. So the b here refers to the coefficient of x and the coefficient of x over here refers to k minus 2. So the coefficient of x here refers to k minus 2. So k minus 2 close bracket power of 2 minus 4a refers to the coefficient of x square. a refers to the coefficient of x square in this case is a 1. All right, so 4 times 1. And over here, uh, C refers to the constant. In this case, the C refers to the constant, the term that is independent of X. So the C over here refers to the 2. So times the 2 to be less than 0. Why is it less than this, less than 0? Discriminant has to be less than 0 because there is no real roots. All right, there is no real roots. Uh, this is part of the quadratic formula, which is derived from the completing the square methods. Now, we can therefore continue to um, so-called simplify this inequality, giving us a k minus 2, power of 2, um, minus 8 to be less than 0. Now, this is somewhat um, using one of the special algebraic identity. Let me put it on the right-hand side. Uh, I can see that it's going to be uh, a squared minus away b squared equals to uh, a plus b times a minus b over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re-express this thing into a similar form like this. So it's going to be k minus 2, power of 2. And um, 8 would therefore be the same as, um, maybe I can put it as a 2 root 2 power of 2 to be less than 0. Now, what am I doing here is very simple. I converted this 8 into a 2 root 2 power of 2. So why is that so? It's because root 8 all right, is the same as 2 root 2. So root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. So if I'm going to have a 2 root 2 power of 2, this will actually give us an 8 answer. You can press the calculator to work it out. Now, once I express it in this form, this is now my so-called A. As you can see that I'm going to highlight with the same color here on the screen. So this is my so-called A. All right, let me use, uh, in this case, a yellow color here. And this is my so-called B. And that is why I'm doing what I'm doing now here. This is my so-called B here. Let me highlight in greens here, and this is my B. And this is my B. So what I'm going to do now is very simply put it this way. I'm going to present it. All right, let me scroll it up. So uh, I'm going to present it like this, open bracket. Um, A squared minus B squared would therefore be A plus B. So I'm going to call this as my A. So this, one, this will be my A here. So a plus b in this case. So this is my b here. All right, this is my b plus b. And I'm going to close the bigger brackets here. So open another small brackets. So this will be my a. And this is now my minus b in this case, which is a 2 root 2, like this. So over here, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b, a minus b, using this special algebraic identity that we have learned it uh, in um, our early years of mathematics. Now, presenting it nicely so that I'm going to present it nicely so that we can do it, uh, we can draw this quadratic inequality. So having said that, it means to present it in this form. 
k minus away, um, I'm going to open a bracket. So 2 minus 2 root 2, close bracket. And this is going to give us on the other side will be a k minus k minus away. So I'm going to open it again. So 2 plus 2 root 2, less than 0. Now, it will be advisable for you if you can please check your answers because there's negatives all over the place. So this will be a negative 2 and double negative giving us a positive. So this is a negative 2 and negative times a positive will therefore give us a negative. So yep, this is correct. So now with this in mind, we can therefore continue to solve this quadratic inequality. Now, as we can see that this quadratic inequality um, over here, your coefficient of k squared is uh, more than 0. So we can clearly tell that it is a happy face. And by happy face, I'm referring it to something like this on the screen. So that's a happy face here. So a happy face curve is a minimum curve whereby the coefficient of k squared is actually a positive like this. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to draw this quadratic inequality in the graphical approach so that you can understand it better. So I'm going to continue with my k-axis. So my k-axis will therefore be here. All right. So therefore, okay, let me make it the same color. So over here, what we're going to do now is we're going to have the... Um, inequality plot insights. So in this case, um, if I set the bracket to be equal to 0, k would therefore be equal to 2 minus 2 root 2. So I'm going to put it down here. So k minus 2 root 2 here. And if I set this bracket to be equal to 0, it will give us a k equals to 2 plus 2 root 2. And this is my um, 2 plus 2 root 2 here. Oops. Over here. All right. So which part of the curve is less than zero? Which part of the curve is more than zero? So um, over here, we can tell that, um, let me put out this uh, bracket over here. So this part of the curve, as you can see here, this part of the curve, the one that is above the horizontal axis is actually greater than zero. So let me put it down here, greater than zero, greater than zero here. Okay, so the part of the curve, which is this two portion of it, whereby it's above the horizontal axis, is known as greater than zero, more than zero over here. And the part of the curve that is actually below the horizontal axis over here, I'm referring to this part here, it's actually known as less than zero. So this is actually less than zero over here. Now, as you can clearly tell from the diagrams, um, the part of the curve whereby it is exactly less than zero will be this part here on the screen. Okay, so this will be exactly less than zero like this. So this part. Now, as you can see that if the curve, as per the question of quadratic inequality, is less than zero, now we are referring to it whereby it's the bottom part of the curve below the below the horizontal axis this is considered one range so this is the answer if it's above it would be two range it's lesser than lesser or greater than or greater like this now let's put it in an inequality format so therefore we're going to have it like this therefore my range of inequality for k would therefore be now, I'm going to put in the smaller number on the left. In this case, 2 minus 2 root 2 here, 2 minus 2 root 2, and um, k, and this will be 2 plus 2 root 2. So k will be in between 2 minus 2 root 2 and 2 plus 2 root 2, and it's not inclusive. Therefore, this is the whole answer for this question.